It's cracking down on, on Bitcoin. Yes. We have a lot of people in this in this audience who follow crypto pretty closely. Uh, but there's a lot of people who just, uh, you know, it seems like a weird fantasy world, like almost like someone's talking about their own fantasy league. You know, yeah. like you have no idea what they're talking about. Yeah. If you're talking to like the average person who's never really thought about crypto before, how do you how do you talk, talk to them about well, it? Well, the thing is, is that you got to look at, for example, and I always nail it down to whatever country that they're in. A lot of these people who are interested in this are in America, though not exclusively. You brought up El, El Salvador, for example. But look at how, for example, with government and, 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 and the Federal Reserve and in combination with the Treasury and how at willy nilly they could just print out whatever. It, it's the same concept to think about yeah. that they can literally just increase the money supply just like that, which, again, effectively devalues your your money that yeah. you have. That problem does not exist necessarily with something like like bit, Bitcoin. So when explaining it to them, look at it like, well, you know, yeah, it's going to go maybe up and down um, in price or value. That can be said for literally I- anything. Doesn't sure. matter what it is that you're talking about. But unlike with the U.S. dollar, Bitcoin, it's capped. There's only a, 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 a certain amount yeah. that's always going to be uh, that amount. No, you don't have to own one whole Bitcoin. You can just own, 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 own a Satoshi or, or multiple Satoshis or however. Mm-hmm. You don't have to own a, an entire Bitcoin. And because of that, it is very difficult because they don't control the money supply. They can't do the things that they do, whether it be with the, even the war efforts. And I know that's going on on a, a tangent the other way, sure. but they can't do that with Bitcoin. So a lot of what you see with these disastrous policies that, again, devalue your money, they can't do that with, with, with stuff like Bitcoin, which is why it's so intriguing, uh, uh, because it's, no central, it's not centrally planned in a sense. It's not centrally controlled by just one entity or, or one individual. Mm-hmm. It's true. Only 21 million. Yep. Never going to be more. Never going to be more. Uh, that's, that's the part that hooked, hooked me on it very <laughs> early. Uh, Eric July, be sure to catch him on the podcast. Uh, for canon's sake and of course here on the blaze news and why it matters and everywhere else eric thanks so much man thanks for having me